All right, guys, what's going on? Yeah, changed hats for this one just to be a little more implied with the video or integrated more, probably make more sense integrated in with it. So, yeah, I'm actually a really big fan of the Frostpunk game when it first came out. Um, I thought it was a very innovative, original, unique idea of like post apocalyptic or even epidemic of like another global ice age. And I was told that there's uh, a announcement trailer came out a while back, which hence the whole late to the party. I tend to like to wait till the dust settles or because I'm not really um, like always online or something. I've just never been like that person. But uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Frostpunk 2. Oh, shit. A little something you guys are going to learn about me. I actually, uh, briefly, in my early uh, um, 20s, I worked in the oil field, and I know what those are for people who don't know, even though they're a little different because they're normally close to the ground, not like on scaffolds like that, like cranes and like uh, construction sites in the city. Those are called grasshoppers, and... Just right off the bat, I know what's going to happen. Those things are frozen solid because of the weather. And for those who don't know, oil engines, they can freeze when it's really cold out. Like you have to, like diesels have a problem with this. Um, like in, for example, not too far alternate from this universe and Battle of the Bulge in World War II, uh, the Germans uh, use this type of weather to their advantage and you know engines froze they couldn't use tanks or anything so i already know what's going to happen with this to a point frozen i told you <laughs> looks really good Frozen oil. Oh no, nope, that was a sledgehammer. Take it back. Some say we abandoned God. Yep, frozen oil and blood. Look at that. Ah, uh, you know see, frozen oil. Oh, <laughs> this must be the last captain who lied or something. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, I knew it. I told you guys. I fucking knew it. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't care. Uh, even though if this is the route you have to go, I don't care. I'll play it. Frostpunk is just such a unique game. If they have more of a management system or like tools system or anything, like just expand on the world of Frostpunk. Hell, if it's possible get a first person view somewhere in the game because it's so beautiful and unique imagine what it's like working like as a simulator in one of their minds or one of the like even the like the the wall uh thumper not the wall thumper the um the uh wall drill to get trees and wood imagine how kick-ass that would look like i don't know it's just maybe it's me just geeking out i don't know but the whole world of Frostpunk's cool. I'm really excited about this a lot. Yeah, this is gonna be really good. It's it just awesome. This company, it can, ah, oh, I gotta go ahead and add it to my wish list on Steam. Cause let's face it, nothing plays games better than a PC. Yes, nothing plays games better than a PC, Xbox, PlayStation, you can go shove it and go just fuck off. You're ruining games for people. But this is going to be a really cool game. I can't wait. See what else we got going today, guys. Catch you later.